Wait, where are you going, Connor? Is this like you going out? Now? What? What are you doing this morning? Right now, we're uh, we're playing piano this morning. We are worshiping God with the whole congregation. We love it. I don't know. Sometimes volunteer is almost like it. It just doesn't quite describe faithful, reliable, super dedicated, gifted people. Something that I see across every volunteer team in our church. I mean, there's so many teams. Greeters to coffee to check in to ushers to the connect team and the connect kiosks. We have sewing class, sound and video, kids church, and how literally nothing on earth would run without them. We've got Limitless Kids, we have Grief Share, we've got Celebrate Recovery. I mean, the, the, the list goes on and on. For every one person doing something publicly, there's probably 10 people behind the scene helping that happen. There are so many hands that make what we do possible. It's important in the way that we are there to receive at church, but we're also there to give. To truly be a disciple of Jesus, you have to put his life into practice by serving others. Part of the witness of the church is our service to the communities that we're in. But to be able to go together and say, this is what Jesus has given us. This is the hope that he has for us. And how can we love on the community around us, the city around us? We're in Baldwin Park. And this is Ramirez Meat Market, and it's where we pick up our tamales. Okay, study it to see. Okay. Welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. And I just sense that, like walking on the campus. When I ask people, like, so why do you do this every week? A lot of responses are, well, I love it, and this is my family. Just the kindness that just immediately comes across. It's going great. It's a beautiful morning. And the yeah. first person they see is, Gabby standing there, or one of our wonderful people saying, you're welcome here, right? Like just this sign and a smile. We can live in this lie of isolation that we belong to ourselves. And I do believe we miss out so much. Coming into a place where we're all broken people, um, we have all issues. You are uh, never too much and always enough. The church is missing out um, without you in it. You know, the whole Christian life is set in the context of being in a community, being in a family. So this is our community, this is our family, and to really take that mutual ownership of the work that God is doing. You can't do it alone. That partnership contributes to the growth of the church, of the bigger community. You may not see the fruit, but I'm telling you that God is working in and through each one of you that is continuing to serve the Lord in whatever capacity. You are so loved here. These volunteers like are deserving of honor. And the Lord sees every single one of them. We couldn't do what we do without you. I think the most direct thanks I can give is that my family comes to church here and I see the way that they're blessed even when I'm not around them. We are just so incredibly thankful for you, Calvary Chapel, and all that volunteer, all that serve, all that call this home, and the way that you pour yourself out. Week after week, month after month, year after year, just showed up to give of themselves. The willingness to put yourself like in that position and carry burdens with other people like is like that is Jesus. <laughs> All of you who are involved with the community teams have done so much to build up the community at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. And even more than that, you have made this church more vibrant in many ways beyond it. So thank you. I am exceedingly thankful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're gonna do. Thank you just for being like representatives of Christ. We are so thankful for our volunteers here at Calvary Costa Mesa. You guys make the dream happen. Huge thank you to everybody who's been serving alongside us this year. You guys are amazing. You really are the front line and the behind the scenes of the community here at CC Sam. We appreciate just all the hours and energy and devotion that you all pour out. We can't do it without you. We appreciate you and just we thank the Lord for you. You guys are incredible. Thank you for everything you do. We love you so much. God bless you guys for all of your hard work, your time. God sees it, we see it, and we're so thankful for all that you do. Thank you so very much for the incredible generosity 
that you have poured out um, of your time and your talents and your treasures to serve so freely. To be able to be with you as a Jesus-formed community on mission. So thankful for you guys and everyone else who serves here at Calvary. And may the Lord bless you and keep you, shine his face upon you. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your service. Knowing again, your labor is not in vain. I love you. That's good. I love it.